Welcome to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of middleweight action. Each man comes into this. They're scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. Bam Bam scoring with that right hand. Oh, what an exchange. Side, side. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Bam Bam's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Silk's nailed by a hook. Bam Bam's right hand scores well that time. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Halfway through round number one. Back to the box. Good job, buddy. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Fires off the hook. Look at that. That's a big right hand. Oh, boy. He is stunned badly. He is staggered and hurt and couldn't go down. Teddy, what do you got to be yelling for encouragement if you're the corner? Well, if it was a baseball game, I'd be yelling for rain <laughs> right now. I, I want this stop. But what he has to really get is a way to clinch. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joe, if this keeps up, they're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. The last 10 seconds of this first round. A little head hunting with the left. Relax. Relax. Doing great. Keep the pressure on him. Keep it on him. No need to get excited. You're doing fine. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. How about that left hand? job it was sudden it was fast it was direct by silk <laughs> blocks that belt line well Bam Bam's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. And just grabbing on to his opponent. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. 
And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Blocks the headshot. Silk's right hand working well that time. He scored well. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Good way to protect the midsection. Bam Bam's off mark all night long, and Teddy, he's getting tired just missing punches. Well, this is a good example. You know, we know what happens when they land, but this is a good example of what happens when they don't land. Sometimes you get a little discouraged. Not able to land the uppercut. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool. He's, well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bit. He's confident. A solid left hand by Silk. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Silk. At this stage of a fight, Teddy, these very early moments, how much in your training career will you stress to a guy to try to go to the body? Very much, because it sets up things later on, and it takes away things that he's trying to do. You know, he's trying to move his upper body. You go downstairs, takes a lot of that away. Beat him to the bench. Come on. Off the target by Silk. Halfway through this round. Silk's strategy has been to control things on the outside. And the jab fits perfectly into it. Yeah, what it's done is it's set up his defense. He's kept his opponent defensive, kept him off balance, off stride. And it's also set up his power shots whenever he's wanted to. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the Will of the Whips, the old great Keep Willie right Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Hit the Ten seconds to go in this third round. Back to the body. And that's the end of round three. Keep those hands moving. 
Relax, relax. I right, just let it go, all right? You're taking a beat. Now, come on. What's going on? We need to win more rounds, right? We gotta do something. Gotta watch the You're throwing our game plan out the fucking window here. Fourth round is underway. Teddy's scorecard reads three rounds to zip against him. You know, I think if you told him before the fight you're going to throw more punches than your opponent, he'd feel good. But right now, it's not working. Well, I think he's looking to take a picture. He's looking to go to a studio and do a photo shoot because somebody should tell him that after you throw a punch, you're not supposed to pose. Punch! Punch! Keep working the body. Able to dismiss that body shot. Silk's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. That was not well targeted by Silk. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. You're doing Just well. hugging there. Keep moving, keep moving. Focus. Head body. Bam, bam. Wondering what hit him. A huge counterpunch came back at him. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. He's tired. Still showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. So end of the round, a round in which he was able to get to his man there, stunned him there. He's kind of got momentum now, doesn't he, Teddy? Yeah, he does. And you know he's going to want to build on it. He doesn't want to get reckless, careless, but he's want to keep it going that way. All the eyes are on him to start this round. Bam Bam's legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. No, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but he's been here before. He's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. And he ties up on the inside. Come on. Move. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then go. Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him.
able to connect by Silk. Right, unable to connect. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. Yeah, yeah. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Able to cover up that keep gut. Moving, moving. Silt's making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp, it can just drive your opponent crazy. Yeah, it can. First of all, it can start to break down. You know, we always look at the physical things in life and anything. You know, you're, you're pounding a guy and you're going to break the guy down. Hey, if you're just smart and you're slick like this guy and you're making a guy miss, you start to break him down. He's breaking the guy down that way. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Silk. He gets to him with an uppercut. And yet another big shot comes in. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. like something out of a movie here. Yeah, except nobody's coming in there and saying cut. <laughs> you know, he has to keep going here. Right now, the only thing he knows is he's got flashbulbs going off in his head. Oh, what a whiff by Silk. Carries that punch away. Bam Bam's just being very hesitant right now offensively. His first thought since being stunned in this fight is protect myself, protect myself. It's like he's turned the off switch on his offense. Yeah, but you can't do that. The lights go off, it gets all dark there. You have to find a way to still have that light on. You know, find the window. Find the window of opportunity somewhere. They are out there. Be creative. Halfway through round six. <laughs> Silk's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Bam Bam's looking for a way to get this fight back on course, a course that can get him a victory. This isn't it, just trying to counterpunch these middle rounds. No, this is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing to say physically, technically, he needs to do that. But to do it, you have to be mentally clear. You have to be seeing the plan, seeing what you have to do, what you have to order your body to do. He's not seeing that right now. One. Good 
work by Silk. And he engages in the clinch. Keep your distance. Unload. And here he goes again with the clinching. Keep your body moving. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking out there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. Nice run. That was good. We have this one. There you go. Okay. Beautiful. It has been completely one-sided so far tonight, and he's in control as we start this round. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Bam Bam's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Keep doing what you're doing. He's got half of the equation figured out. He's throwing a lot of punches. But the more important half of the equation, he's way off the mark. Yeah, well, you know, you should talk to a golf pro. You know, if you want to hit a golf ball, you want to hit it straight, you wouldn't stand crooked, would you? <laughs> I mean, your feet would have to stand where you could hit the ball where your feet are pointing. That's the problem. His feet are crooked. They're pointing the wrong way, and his punches are going the wrong way. Halfway through the seventh round. Silk's showing you a little defensive <laughs> skill there. I better move away from that punch. You're taking too many punches. Hands up. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Silk's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Bam Bam's not showing that he's got a great IQ when it comes to ring generalship here. He's just stationary. Not much movement at all. No, not at all. And it's feeding right into his opponent. He knows where to find them and where to find them at all times. He needs to get on those legs a little bit and start changing a little bit of his placement here where he is. He's always in the same place. And the round comes to an end. Right. He's got nothing left, okay? Just go for the head. Knock him out. It's done. Silk's been making a point of working harder. He's the busier fighter, throwing more punches. And as we start round number eight, he's up big on Teddy's scorecard. Well, he's getting little opposition. I mean, the other guy must have a big bank account or something. You know what the other guy's corner should do? What? They should tell him that they just got a phone call from his wife, and guess what? All the money's gone. They got to create urgency. <laughs> all the money's gone. You know, something happened. Your accounts are all zero. You better start oh fighting. God, it's a combo. Double punches. Doing great. 
Landing two jabs by Silk. Bam Bam's throwing lots of punches, and not many are landing. But what's that old saying? Hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick. Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. That's it. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Silk. The halfway point of round number eight. Something coming back at him. A counter punch scored. Unload! Unload! More punches! Step him up! Doing what you're doing. You got this one. One, two, one, two. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. There is hardly a doubt as to what this result will be. I know anything can happen, but all that's happened all night long is one guy punishing the other. Well, it looks like Kobe Bryant on a good night when that basket is 20 feet big. I mean, he just can't miss. Job protecting himself. Nice. Pace yourself. Halfway through the ninth round, covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Nice block by Silk. Hit the body. <laughs> left and right, left and right. Silk's chosen a path here where he will not stand toe to toe opposite his opponent. He's using some very good movement here against him. Yeah, he is. He's using those feet. He's using those wheels real well. But the key here is where to use them. He has to make sure that he breaks it off to the side every once in a while, not straight back. Otherwise, he'll get time. Use the ring. Use the ring. Uppercut. 
Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Keep working the body. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. And that's the end of round nine. Silk's in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. Turn. Nice work by Bam Bam. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Silk's head movement is really a factor in this fight. I mean, who would have thought it? Just one of the aspects of defense could be such a big key to this fight right now. Yeah, it is. And his opponent right now is not making adjustments. Matter of fact, he's starting to drown himself because he's going more and more headhunting, and the more he does it, the more he misses, the more frustrated he gets, the more tired he gets. He needs to make a change. Downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. Shot up top. Combo, combo, one, two, one, two. towards the end of the 10th round, 10 seconds to go. And that's the end of round 10. Right, deep breath. Breathe in. Bam Bam's looking like an absolute mess as we start round number 11 here. And the scorecard proves it to be true. Yeah, it tells the story, and guess what? It's a short story. He's losing. Badly. Shot in. Able to show you his blocking ability. 
halfway through this 11th round. Block that time. It was intended to the head. Uppercut. Uppercut. Head buddy. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Green. Boy, he was damaged, but now he's defending himself well. The hook didn't get it. Nice. See the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Come on, kid, focus. Last round. This is it. Last round. Final round of this scheduled 12 round. Two good jabs by Silk. Job staying away from the danger there. <laughs> A destructive right hand by Bam Bam. Keep your distance. He just does not appear to have the stamina it takes to be in this fight. I don't know if he has the will for the stamina. Defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Let it go! Bam Bam's defense is paying off now. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. All right, here we go. Last 60 seconds of the fight. Gets rid of that effort. <laughs> Last 10 seconds of the fight. Bam Bam's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Final bell of what was a one-sided outing. Well, this one is easy to score. At least it should be. Let's hear how the judges had it. We send it up to the ring.
That's a well-earned victory by Silk. And it's nice to see when not only all three judges have it for him, but your scorecard agrees. Yeah, it is. That doesn't mean I'm going to hang out with these guys or go to dinner with them afterwards, but right now I'm going to say job well done, guys. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time at the fights.